Well guys, I'm back, standing under a swimming dock. Done really well here in the past. Got a nice gold ring, a gold anchor pendant, lots of silver stuff, some old coins. But today, I'm back with my mini coil, and I'm gonna see what I missed, or maybe even what people dropped this last swimming season, so. And if this place doesn't pan out, I'll probably bounce to another one. All right, very first hole. Looks like I got myself a quarter. Ooh, it's been there a while, see? I really like going back with my mini coil. I think this might be the year of the mini coil. <laughs> Go retry all my old spots with a different coil on. So I just dug a penny I didn't show you. Underneath it was this quarter. And now that I have that moved, it kind of sounds like there might be a nickel right there. It's amazing how. That can be why it's super important to. Oh, this might not be a nickel. So that's why it's super important to dig everything because the find something might be masking something else. Yeah, looks like I was right. Nickel. So, three coins. I can only hear the penny originally. Jewelry, I just popped it out of this hole right here. Let's see who it is. No, <laughs> not jewelry. Not some sort of eyelet. That <laughs> tricked me. Funny. Okay, well, I just dug this huge hunk of something, something up. And I'm hoping just getting it out of there will help me find something I wouldn't have normally found. Because yeah, when you got good spots, it's good to clean up the ground, Joe. Be surprised how much more you'll find. So here's a prime example. Now I can hear that. It sounds like a dime. But you know, maybe I got lucky and it's a ring or something, but anyway, that's how you do it. See what we couldn't hear before. There it is. <clears throat> yep, dime. But hey, that could have been a gold ring or something just sitting right next to that and no one would have ever heard it. Okay, so you just saw me get that huge hunk of junk out of there. I ended up digging several more coins. Here's my first piece of jewelry. And I think it's going to be probably some sort of bling. But... Yeah, and then I'm moving a few of the rocks out of the way. But man, it's amazing just how much different the ground is. You get a mini coil, start flipping things over, getting some of the bigger targets out of the area. It all just opens up. Well, I haven't found a mark on it, but I'm pretty sure this is silver. It started out kind of black, and you can see as I rubbed it, it kind of shined up. I haven't, like I say, I haven't found a mark. And interestingly, it rings up like an 8-9, which I know seems low, but at the same time, it's got a lot of holes in it. So, I don't know. I have to give you an update. Maybe if I get it home and get a loop on it, maybe I'll be able to see the mark. Or I can always test it, of course. But yeah, there you go. First piece of jewelry. All because I was moving stuff around. Okay, so <laughs> I just found a pair. Isn't that interesting? This one's ringing a little bit higher. This one's coming up at 10. So that must have been a charm. Like some sort of ankle bracelet or something. All right. Well, I'll let you know if these turn out to be silver. Well, look how small that little piece of jewelry is. 
All right, it's been a while since I turned you guys on. I've been in a total clad battle. And I'm not going to clean it up. I'm just going to keep going. But that's the third one of those charms. And I am a few feet away. And maybe I'll end up getting the bracelet part or whatever. But they got me a key down there. Same hole as a bottle cap. 137. Probably somebody's room key. Okay, finally another piece of jewelry. Nine million coins later. Whatever it is, it's definitely. Well, maybe it's prettier than I thought it was going to be. That's weird. Why is it on a piece of iron? Hmm. Another, another key. So, you can see what I'm doing. I got kind of lucky on these posts because they're all um, wood. So I'm just really working along the edge. If I hear any sound, I'm just digging it up. Don't worry, I'll smooth it all out when I'm done. But, uh, and I throw the pile over there, and a lot of the time I'm getting two, three things out of a single scoop. Well, I changed out of my waders <laughs> to just knee pads and muck boots. Decided I didn't need that, I didn't want to wear out the knees. And I'm just slaying the clad. I'll show you the pile when I'm done. And it's a good signifier, you know. If there's a lot of clad in your swimming hole, there's bound to be some good jewelry. I might have already pulled it all out of here, but... I'm gonna find out. Anyways, there's another key. Looks like more bling of some kind. Keep going. Probably not gonna show you much more class. Looks like a part of a necklace or something, maybe. It used to be cool. Definitely copper or brass, though. Watch how sensitive this is. You're like, oh, that sounds like garbage. Check it out. Little earring right on top. <laughs> Maybe I can get it in the camera, huh? Okay, I do got it all cleaned up. And the stem says 925 China. Boom, silver. So I was like, Dang, another fish and lure. Nope, look at that. <laughs> it's a fish and lure earring. Fun. Got me. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't show this many keys, but it starts just get kind of comical. Four keys. Wow. That's an old, old pocket knife. Not bad looking. <laughs> Definitely fried. I wish I could replay for you how terrible that sounded. But I think I got me a silver ring. Yeah. Let me clean it up. So see how it's open? I think it must have been sitting up like this because it was like a really scratchy like 16 to 18. But yeah, it's marked. That's 925. So you just gotta stick with that clad. <laughs> Wait till you see my pile. But where there's clad, there's gonna be jewelry. Just gotta be patient. Well, I think I found some sort of relic. Wonder if that's like an old bead or something. No idea what that is. <laughs> it's coming up a seven. Okay, so I had a kind of a deep weird signal here. And I ended up with two dimes here. And it's looking like one is clad. And we'll look at that one. This one is gonna be silver. Let's see if I can get a date on it real quick. Barely made 
Okay, that's the hunt, guys. This was so crazy. Just the amount of targets I must have dug in this hunt. Just the clad itself, 238. So imagine all the junk that I threw away, didn't even show you. <laughs> and then the miscellaneous items. And of course, our reward ended up being three silver. Um, I got cut off when I was trying to tell you it was a silver dime because my battery went dead. And so there's a few things here you didn't get to see. I don't think you saw this or this knife and, you know, a few other things. I think like this, this earring wasn't on the video. But anyways, what was happening is I'd hear us, I'd hear a sound and I'd dig down and clear it and... It might have been one or two different coins or some garbage or whatever. But underneath it was more. And you dig down and there'd be more and more and more. It was just layered with coins. I was spending like a half hour sometimes in one spot. Like not even moving. Like maybe like a three foot by three foot area. Just digging and digging and digging. And sometimes I think I'd have all the coins and I'd look at my pile where I was stacking it all and there'd be more you know because I thought I dug up one and maybe I dug up two or three so <clears throat> anyways I, I really would have thought as many targets as there that I would have dug something gold but it just doesn't always happen however spoiler alert I did get a massive gold ring there the very next day so if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe and the follow button so you don't miss it. And, you know, spoiler alert, it was coming up like a zinc penny. And so, you know, a lot of guys are like, hey, why are you digging so many zinc pennies? I'll tell you why. One, because they could be masking something good. And two, when you dig a gold ring that comes up like a zinc penny, you're going to be happy because it's going to be big. It's going to be chunky. And... Yeah, no doubt, that ring that I got the next day is very chunky. So, anyways, that's the hunt. Don't have too much to say about it. It kind of speaks for itself, other than, wow, what a bunch of targets. And, by the way, guys, this is my third year detecting there. And every year I gritted it out and thought I did a good job. <laughs> it just goes to show what a difference maybe, like, a small coil can do for you sometimes. You know, because that big coil, man, it just doesn't get all the angles and everything that you can get with that little coil. So, anyways, switch up your coils, switch up your frequencies, heck, maybe even switch up your machines. Go back, grid it one direction, then go back, grid it the opposite direction. And you'll be surprised how many things you missed. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.